Russell and Dave Brown, we're right along ringside, ready to go with another big day of championship wrestling. I love it, Dave. Oh, I tell you, opening match today, we really yeah. get going with a good one. Shima and Hilo with Tojo Yamamoto will be in the ring to go against Billy, Travis, and Mark Starr. Boy, have they not looked good together in Boy, a very short time? Really have. have looking looking forward to that. That's just the opening match of the day. A little bit later on, Jeff Jarrett will be here in a single match. We'll have Paul, Di Paul Diamond and Pat Tanaka a bit later on, too. John Paul will be here. And we will have a match, looking forward to this one, Stretcher Jack, Do uh, Stretcher Jack Hart and Chick Donovan yep. will be going against the team, are you ready for this, of superstar Bill Dundee and the king, Jerry Lawler. Oh boy, we are really looking forward to that match, to see Lawler and Dundee back together again right here on Championship Wrestling. They'll be going against the rugby team, as Dave said, of the stretcher and the golden boy. We got time. By golly, we better get on it. Take time out right now. We'll be back with an opening match for you in just a moment. Today is going to be Billy Travis, Mark Starr, going against the team of uh, Mr. Shima and Mr. Hilo. That's a dandy, and we're looking forward to that. And we've also got uh, some other great action. By the way, as uh, we had indicated earlier in the week, we will be later on having some information about the wrestling school. I've had so many guys who are interested in uh, finding out about the wrestling school. We will have that a little bit later on. We're ready to go, so if we can get somebody out here, we uh, wanted to see, yeah, come on, Tony. We wanted to get this underway and get going here, partner, because we've got a big show. Tony Burton coming out here, and I wanted to get Tony because he had that little ruckus going with uh, Tojo Yamamoto, and I want to know how it feels to have that first one with Yamamoto, who had uh, trained you and all of that. How's it feel to have it behind you, Tony? Well, Lance, I'll tell you, it's like anything else. The first one, that's the big hard one, and I was just a little bit nervous, but I got that under my belt. All the butterflies are gone, and for three years, that bald-headed little man has beat on me with that stick. But I get a lot more satisfaction now that I can beat with that stick and I'm going to beat on his ball head and I just can't wait to get him again. All right. By that, we'll wish you a lot of good luck. Big Tony Burton, who uh, finally had it right up to his neck with Tojo Yamamoto and ended up in a match with him. Got a little bit of a uh, revenge out of that particular one and he's not through. He uh, made him feel pretty good, too. Okay, let's see if we can get him out here. Travis Starr, Shima and Hilo. Here comes referee Jerry Calhoun. That's a start, at least. Good crowd on hand today for our championship wrestling. Here's the Japanese team, and now I think you can tell from the crowd reaction, Billy, Travis, and Mark Starr have just hit the ring. Tojo Yamamoto with a comment. Hey, Tojo. Martin, you know the good Lord down power dog. You want to come out fighting now? You come out tight here now, you no good coward stinking dog. Get over the ring, Tojo, please, and let's get on with this match here. You come out here hollering and screaming and talking about Burton. Okay, bell time. Here we go, David. It's Shima starting against Billy Travis. One fall, 15-minute time limit match. The Japanese team out of Tokyo. Billy Travis out of Lexington, Kentucky. His partner, Mark Starr, a Floridian from Tampa. Billy and Mark with a total weight of 455. The Japanese team total is 469. That does not include Tojo or the kendo stick that he carries over in the corner. Look at Billy. Oh. Hey, this. Look at Shima. That uh, cues in. Nice move by Kravis, and he really tagging. Cues in, though, a trivia question, Dave. Uh, and the answer is just pretty obvious right then and there. Who is the former? Uh, wait a minute. Tony Burton, you do your call. Come outside here, Tony Burton. You no good coward stinking dog. Tojo. You want to fight me now? Come outside here and fight me now, you coward stinking dog. We got a match up here, and we don't need you over here screaming and holler about Tony Burton. Pay attention. You guys have got enough problem in there. Who is the former Kentucky State High School high jump champ? Get this at six feet, ten and a half inches. 
Wow. Well, it's got to be the man who was just high jumping in the ring you right there, it, Billy guys. Travis. Billy Travis, can you believe 6'10"? No, I didn't know that about yeah. Billy. Yeah. Billy, when he was uh, when he was a high jumping champ, weighed about 165, 167 pounds. But 6'10", boy, that's a long way up in the air to be high jumping. Used the Fosbury flop, and uh, uh, he was a winner. Mark Starr, Billy Travis in now with Mr. Hilo. They're going to double whip him. Oh, look at those big upper arms pounding on Hilo. Down he goes. Also, I want to tell you, you know, Tony Burton, he introduced me to his wife. He said, I got a nice, nice wife. He introduced me his wife. You know, his wife is so fat, just like a big barber. It stinks. I tell you, look like a stink. Jojo, get out. I got his wife. He looks like fat. He looks like a retarded. You understand? You please just get back. She looks like a Burma. You know, that Burma bull, that big bull? Exactly like that. Get back over. You boys are in some trouble as Mark Star comes down off the ropes. That Yamamoto. Oh, something else, isn't he? Mark Starr battling Shima. Shima puts him into the ropes. Oh, he got him with a knee in the midsection as Mark Starr was bouncing off the ropes there. Over in the corner, bad place to be. Hilo grabbed him from outside. Shima pounds Mark Starr's head into the turnbuckle. Shima with the body slam. Just walked across his stomach. Over to the corner in the tag on Mr. Hilo. Hilo, vicious chop. Wonder where he learned that. Kick two. Another thing, yes, I want to tell you. You know, Tony Burton, he, you know, he's right. He thinks he's a uh, small little baby to me. He said, look, I got a very, very nice baby. You know, that baby look like it's a big waterhead. Retarded waterhead. Told you that, that baby look like out. Tony Burton and ugly. Get out of here. No, I Wait tell you that true story. Put people down and all that. Other people all putting up people yeah. down. I tell you, the baby no, is a big head. <laughs> Uh-oh. T-Man Hilo from behind. Here comes Billy Travis, Mark Starr. Well, you're just getting what you deserve, Kojo. Deserves every bit of it. Hey, Come out here talking right. about people he can like talk that. Talk about me. He can talk about my wife, but he ain't gonna talk about my pretty little girl that way. I don't blame you, Tony. What happened in the ring, Dave? Well, <laughs> well when uh, well, was when Tony was pounding on Tojo over here, Shima and Hilo left the ring. Billy Travis and uh, Mark Starr came over to keep them out of this action, so the referee stopped the match. Match uh, stopped at three minutes thirty six seconds. Just makes me so hot that Yamamoto. All he oh, does God. is spend his time right now putting people down. We're going to take time out. We still got, believe me, a bunch of it to go, and we'll be back. Hey, back in the action ring, back alley right here on Championship Wrestling. We got plenty of it. Wednesday night, I think you are going to like the card. One of the matches we're going to be taking a look at is going to be an international heavyweight championship match. Stretcher Jack Hart has been hollering for title action. You got, got it now, didn't he? It. Bill Dundee. That's yeah, right. Got. You stole the international title from the Dangerous Alliance when you ripped off Chick Donovan, didn't you, superstar? Huh? Now you got the stretcher himself, Jack Hart. Well, you see, stretcher was the one that helped me with the plan that put out your partner, Rocky Johnson. And don't forget the mastermind himself. I'm at Austin Idol and Tommy Rich. Take your other partner, Jerry Lawler's hair. Well, this week, we're going to take the international belt from you. And if the stretcher doesn't do it, I'll find somebody who can. But I won't need to, because the stretcher will do it. Dundee, as for the international belt, kiss it, shine it, and say goodbye to it, because it's mine now. Well, that is so much easier said than done. I want to see it Wednesday night. Well, here he is. 
take a good look at him yeah. because downtown Bruno is going to be on one side of the ring in a six-man tag. Big Bubba is going to be Let me tell you something, Big other. Bubba. You're big and you're strong and you're tough, but you're slow. You're slow upstairs and you're slow in your body. Say, so you can't catch me. I don't care how fast you run. You're not as fast as me and you can't catch me. You're too stupid to come up with a plan to get me. So there ain't no way you're going to touch me, Big Bubba. And then what we got? The moon dog against that police bar little punk, Jeff Jarrett. Idol against Jeff Jarrett's head. Ha! Jeff Jarrett's going to look funny, ball head. See, mine's growing oh. back. So at the time mine goes back, cut. as long as Jeff is now, ha, then Jeff's going to be bald like this. Then you're going to be the fool walking around look like a bald-headed geek. What do you think of that, Jeff Jarrett? And uh, you know what's real funny, Lance Russell? There ain't nobody can save him, see? Ain't nobody can save him, no matter what. Am I right or wrong? You got no Eddie Marlin. You got no Jerry Jerry. You got no Jerry Lawler. Can save him. Uh, Jeff Jarrett can save himself. No, he can't. Jeff oh. Jarrett's a skinny little punk, see? It's like Mama says. It bees that way sometimes. Okay, Wednesday night. Oh. Yeah. Evansville, where it'll be. Well, I tell you, we didn't really have time uh, to, to list all. So of many, yeah. Be there. So many. What a, what a thing it's going to be. Okay, let us take a look at something that we mentioned a little bit earlier, and that is to say that uh, I know that I have, and I assume that everybody who's connected with championship wrestling has heard from people saying, hey, you're talking about that wrestling school, oh, wrestling yeah. school. <laughs> I want to find out, find out more about the That's wrestling right. school and uh, the genuine interest. We're going to try to take care of the information on it and be sure to have a pencil and paper ready right now so that you can take down the address on it because this will be your opportunity. And uh, please, we don't mind Jay asking, but let's not <laughs> keep asking us. Take the address down, please, and it will give you an opportunity to get all the information you need about the wrestling school. So if we're ready with that. Let's take a look at it right now. Hello, I'm Michael St. John, and if you would like to be trained to become a professional wrestler and are 18 years or older, then send your name, address, and phone number, along with your height and weight, to Wrestling School, 126 Walton's Ferry Road, Suite F1, Hendersonville, Tennessee, 37075. That's Wrestling School, 126 Walton's Ferry Road, Suite F1, Hendersonville, Tennessee, 37075. All applications will be sent by return mail. Quite an interesting match. It was a single bout. It had to do with the Mid-America title. It was the return of Jeff Jarrett meeting the Moondog Spot. Boy, I'm going to tell you what. That doggone match was absolutely one of the wildest, most unpredictable son of a guns that I believe I have ever seen. It absolutely was all over the Mid-South Coliseum in Memphis, Tennessee. You take a look now at some of the highlights of that match with Jeff and the Moondog spot for the Mid-America title. Here it goes.
great beat on Jarrett. Mundo continues to rip him with the right every time Jeff gets up. Friends around Owensboro, Kentucky on Thursday, June the 18th at Owensboro Civic Center. Championship Wrestling will be in there. We'll have details on a complete card coming up along about next week. All right, let me take this moment right here to tell you about Wednesday night. Told you it was a good card. I think you're going to like it all. Bucky Siegler opens up against Mr. Shima. Rocky Soul Man Johnson going against Mr. Hilo. He'll be back in action in a big way. International Heavyweight Championship match. The Superstar, Bill Dundee going against Stretcher Jack Hart. And then how about this one? Ken stick on a ladder. Tojo Yamamoto, Tony Burton. It'll be a thrill to see Burton going after Yamamoto. Six-man tag match, Billy Travis, Mark Starr, are going to be joined by Big Bubba. And on the other side of the ring, Paul Diamond, Pat Tanaka, with downtown Bruno in the ring. In the final bout, Mid-America title against Jeff Jarrett's hair, when Jeff will be meeting Moondog Spot for that title. Boy, that's Wednesday night. Okay, we got the Mid-America heavyweight champion, Jeff Jarrett, who's going to be in our very next bout. Oh, happy man today. Yeah, boy, I'll tell you what.
one thing. We're delighted to see you because you've got behind you one of the milestones that you had to take care of, and that was Moondog Spot. That's right, Lance. I'm happy for two reasons today. As you said, I think, believe I got the Moondog behind me, and uh, that, that, that's the past. But now, finally, Lance, I get a match with Jack Hart. I've yeah. been waiting, and I know you've been waiting, Jack Hart. Brother, I, I, as I said before, you come out here and you beat up my friend Randy Hales. You beat up Eddie Martin and those guys, they don't claim to be wrestlers, but I do. Now, I got a match with you, and if you want to wrestle, I'll wrestle you. If you want to fight, I'll fight you. If you want to tear that building down, Jack Hart, I'll tear it down right down with you, but it's going to be on your head, brother. So, Lance, I've been waiting for that match with Jack Hart, and I got it. I'll tell you one of the things in your match with Moondog Spot, and this will be the last reference to him, that really thrilled me, Jeff, was... You proved you weren't going to back up when it got down to the fighting outside the ring, brother. You were right in there giving better than you could. Giving anything. I, I, I gave it everything I had. Bruno, now look. We put up with a lot. We don't want any trouble out Wait a minute, here. Lance. Just leave, Wait please. a minute, Lance. There's not going to be no trouble. We're not out here to cause trouble, are we? No, we're not. No, no. Trouble? Do we ever cause? I don't cause trouble. You know what? I come out here, I see Jeff Jarrett stay here with this shiny silver belt and the, and the, and the gold hair and the, and the black jacket and the, and the yellow boots and the black pants and, uh, wait, wait, I didn't say you asked me, I didn't come out here to start no trouble, but you come out here and, uh, hey, hey, hold on, calm down, calm down, you come out here and you say, but you're a wrestling champion, you're a, you're a fighting champion, right? Yeah. That's right. right. Are you a, do you say that you're a wrestling champion? Okay, okay, I thought maybe for I had to talk or something there. Are right, you a wrestling champion? Now today, I've looked, I've looked at the schedule. You got a match with some goof, some guy named, I mean, the Thunderbird. Some guy that anybody, we don't even know who this guy is because he's embarrassed to show his face because he couldn't win a match to save his life. He couldn't wrestle his way out of a wet paper bag. And you're coming out here on TV, you're going to wrestle. Settle down, settle down, hold on. Now, why comes, wait. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute. I don't care what schedule C. You come out here and you show everybody this belt here and you want to say, oh, I'm the champion. This is the Run out with you. Wait, wait, you shut up. You told me, oh, I'm the champion. I'm the man around here. Well, sure, you get in the ring with your brownies, you'll, you'll have that belt forever. Now, I'm out here to say this. I would like to challenge you to get in the ring with my man, the former and future Mid-America Heavyweight Champion, Moondog Spot. And let me tell you something, Jeff Jarrett, just to show you what kind of guts we have, what kind of faith in ourselves we have, what kind of confidence we have, I want to say this to you. You can make this match any kind of match you want. You can make up your own set of rules. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. We're talking about you can make this a loser leave time match. You can make this a, a haircut match. You can make this a Texas death match. You can have them bring out the steel cage. We don't care, it's up to you. And the reason I can stand here with all this confidence and say anything I want to about myself and about you, wait a minute, and about the moon dog, is because I know what kind of man you are. No, I take that back. I know what kind of man you ain't. And you'll never sign for a match because you got no guts. What? Yeah, everybody knows you got no Hey, 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 hey. Why? You can just leave. You don't have to, Jeff. Ignore that hey, kind Bruno, of conversation. Bruno, did you say I can make it any kind of match I want? Anything. Don't go for any of the yeah, stuff like here. Hey, Bruno, you just, you just be quiet. You're out here running your mouth, flapping your jaws. You yeah, say you any kind of match. All right. All right. If you want that title match so bad, Bruno, I got a little stipulation I'm going to put on it. You said any stipulation. I'm sick and tired of looking at his ugly face, and I'm sick and tired of looking at you, you little weasel. So... If I beat your man in that ring, we're going to leave town for one year. If I beat your guy, you and especially yeah. you leave town for one year. you got nothing to prove with this guy. You don't have to come up with a match like that. What you're saying is, it's the match is that title against us leaving town for one year. One year, that's right. Jeff, it don't make any sense now. You don't have to do it. You got another match scheduled in here. These guys you got behind you, or at least we thought you had them behind you. And, uh, and if you want the match so bad, Bruno, let's go. You're going to put the title up right now. If I beat them guys, Lance, Bruno, and the Moondog leave town for one year. Wait a minute. Okay. This is crazy. 
first of all, Jeff, don't forget about that ESPN deal. The I ain't forgot about title. it. I ain't forgot about it. But if I got the opportunity to join these two jerks out of town for a year, I'm going to take it. Okay, before you decide to do that, let's go back in the back and sign no, a contract. No, no, no. For the if you agree on it, you're authorized to agree a match. I can sign the match. Well, that's let's right. go, guys. Let's go. Be Jeff. Jay. Well, that's one of the problems with youth is that sometimes you don't think things through. We'll go ahead and sign the match right now, okay? Okay, Mid-America title match, Dave. Mid-America title at stake. Jeff Jarrett has it on the line. If he wins, Moondog spot and Bruno are gone for a year. Jeff has beaten the Moondog spot. Look out, spot down on the floor. He's taking it to him with Moondog Spots kind of match, Dave. Ooh. Jeff Jarrett with a cover. He got a count of about one. The Moondog rammed into the turnbuckles. Jeff Jarrett. Boy, you're right. He has, he has taken the fight to the Moondog this time. Not letting the Moondog in control of the match at all. What we said a little bit earlier about his return match that he had. Uh-oh, there he goes out on the floor. He's not afraid to get out and scramble with him in any kind of circumstances on it. This is just a tough young man. He's sick and tired of people making comments about him being protected at all. I'll tell you, two things. He's an athlete, and whether he is a man, he is ready to go at it right now. He's laying down on the floor with a prospect of losing not only the Mid-America title, but the things that go with it, including that big defense out in Las Vegas in June. Crowd behind him. Moondog spot. Snapped his neck using a top rope. The crowd certainly in behind Jeff Jarrett. Moondog up on the middle rope. Bruno says, come on off of there. Jeff saw him coming, waited till the appropriate moment and just moved out of the way. Jeff Jarrett using a right fist. He's being warned about it by the referee. That was a knee lift to the chest. Moondog got him pretty good one there. Moondog throwing Jeff out of the ring again. Jeff down on the floor. Look out. Moondog picking up that folding metal chair. Bruno, meanwhile, as the referee over here in the corner. Now the Moondog back up in the ring. Referee is back up in the ring. Watch Bruno. Oh, Bruno was going to kick him in the back, but the referee turned about that time, and Bruno thought better of it. Jeff Jarrett in a war with the Moondog spot with the Mid-America title at stake against the Moondog and Bruno leaving for one year. Braden Lick, center of the ring. Look at these guys battle here. Wow, hit the mat hard. It's the Moondog counts one, two, but that's that only a two count. Moondog spots head into the turnbuckle. Now whipped across the ring. Jeff Jarrett, great drop kick, puts him down hard on the mat again. And he covers. Bruno's in the ring. Bruno's in the ring, and Jeff going after him. I got the moon dog with the bone. Jeff dumps him over the back. Referee Jerry Calhoun grabs the bone. Moon dog rushes over, drops a knee right in the lower back of Jeff Jarrett. The referee down on the deck. Oh. One big swing with that bone, and Jarrett's down. He pitches it off to Bruno. Jeff Jarrett. Very close to losing that title, and he did. He didn't lose.
use it legally, but the referee who was down on the floor didn't see Moondog Spot hit him with a bone. We all saw it, and it ends up with the Moondog having his hand raised. We don't have it here. Jeff Jarrett still in the ring as downtown Bruno over trying to uh, to get the belt. Hey, you know that that victory in there was a was a sham. Hey, brother, you, you ended up. up in there using a ball. You know what? We want that belt. We don't have to leave the time. We want a match. And we're going to hurry this now. Here's our belt. It's our belt. We got it. We got it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Jeff's got a hold of the belt, and the referee trying to tell him he lost the match. Of course, the referee didn't see all that we saw. That's our belt. We wanted to give it to us. There was a stipulation. Where's Randy Hills at? He'll straight his side. Where's that Randy Hills at? That's our belt. That was a stipulation. Here he comes. Just go on. Go on. Hey. Randy, who represents promoter Eddie Marlin, is out talking to Jeff and an opportunity for Moondog to jump him. He grabs the belt. Jeff goes hightailing it right after him. And out of the area they go, but they had the opportunity when they were distracted to nail Jeff and take that belt away. Uh, used the bone. It was not right. Certainly he used the bone That's in there. Exactly right. There is no way with a referee down there on the floor, he couldn't see it. That's we exactly could right. see it. And Lance, you know, in any title defense, you get a return match. Let Randy Hales, get out of here. I want my return match right now. Right, we got Jeff. plenty of time. Look at the clock, Lance. Well, that's not the question. No. What you really ought to he do is I think it over. Right. He got Jeff. Let's go, Randy. A Just, return match right now. Jeff, listen to me. This is the problem when you get hot-headed. You agreed to the match. It was a verbal contract. It wasn't a written contract. Okay, so what if I agree to it? I want my return match now. In a verbal contract, Jeff, that does not say that. Yeah, Jeff, you don't understand what I'm saying. You go back there and get a return match, Randy. I can't get you a return match, Randy. Well, you go get a return match, Randy. Well, for those of you who just, you know, they steal the belt away from Jeff Jarrett, and then uh, he wants, and of course, I think he ought to wait on it, but he wants to have an immediate return match in there, but... It's not all that easy when you jump into things, and it's just like Randy was saying, that you you get a little too quick when you get hot-headed sometimes. Here comes Bruno sneaking out behind Randy Hales. And Lance, I'll tell you what he's saying. I went back and I asked him for a return hey, match. Guess what? He can, he can have it. You can have a return match. Well, no, wait, 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 wait. Not right now. Let, let your friend here tell you what's going on. It ain't going to be today. Okay, you Jeff, Jeff listen, listen to me. The only way that they're going to give you a title match is for you to put up your hair. I want my title match. That's it. I don't care. Any kind of title match. Hair match, cage match, loosely I said he wants you to put up your hair. That's fine, Randy. You don't get my point. I want a return match. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go, Randy. I'm going to return my... See, you're hot again, Jeff. You're not thinking, and you're... you're, you're okay, hey, man. listen, you can lose your hair. Does that ever dawn on you? You can lose your hair. I want my return match. Jeff, he said there's no way that, that he lets you have the title match today, but the next time you have a title match, the only way is for your hair to be aside. Now, think about it oh, before I'll you agree it. with I'll it. I'll sign it. Yes. Sign it. You are not paying attention because... You think you can't lose and you can't lose your hair. I got to remind you this. Jerry Lawler thought exactly the same thing. I saw Jerry go through a many a match without losing his hair, but it can happen. And knowing what's in this guy's mind, Jeff, you better think before you ever talk about a hair match. That's all I can ask you to do. Lance, I'm going to sign it. I don't care. I want my belt back worse than anything in the world. I'll sign the hair match. Well, uh, well he wants it, Lance. We tried to tell him. That's all I can do. That way yeah, that way. Will you just take it on out of here? Well, I 
guess not to preach anymore, but that's what we've said about youth and being a little hot-headed. We're in a Sam Hill, are we? <laughs> oh, I guess we got to go to a break, and we'll take time out, and we'll be back in just a moment. I wish you... about ready to go in the ring here in just one moment. Boy, I got to tell you what, we got the king and the superstar coming up in a match against Stretcher Jack Hart and Golden Boy Chick Donovan. You know? Uh, yes, I know. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Everybody knows that I was away last week to have the plastic surgery done in New York. It went very well. And you see, that is really the subject of today's speech, Lance, is that this place has really become nothing but a circus, man. I mean, get a tent over this joint. You know, every time somebody comes out here to talk, you got guys running out and hitting people. I had to get plastic surgery, and we all know that why, because Lawler threw fire in my face, and we know it was Lawler. You know, and people are getting, last week, Lawler comes out in a dress. I mean, everybody's getting beat up, and, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. I want to come out here today and conduct myself like a gentleman, which I am. I want to conduct myself as a businessman. I want to just make a legitimate business offer to a man who has been here and has gone and has come back again. I, I don't want to I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get in a fight. I'm not an athlete. I'm, I'm just a manager. I'm a businessman. And I just want to speak to this guy and just make him an offer. And if he doesn't like it, just go away and we'll have the match. And that's it. I have no beef with this man. I hope he has no beef with me. The man that I'm talking yeah, about. Who are you talking? And if you'd come out right now, I'd like Bill, the superstar himself, Dundee, to come out. I just have an offer to make you. No violence. No violence, no punching, nothing like that. Just come out, Bill. I just want to talk to you for a moment, and if you don't want to talk to me afterwards, just go back, and we go along with our business. Okay, here we go. Here goes Billy. Well, at least one thing, I'll say you're out here by yourself without a bunch of goons that's to jump right. somebody. That's right, that's right. Bill? Hey, Paul E., before we get started, I was standing back there listening to the mic. You said you are a liar. You said you had plastic surgery. And if you did, my friend, the only place I think you had it was on your behind. Okay, look, look. I am not here to trade barbs with you. I, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just wait. Just wait. Okay. Look. He said no trouble. Let's not have any, look, please. Austin and Tommy are not here. Okay, I got nobody behind me. I'm here by myself, okay? I'm here to show you the respect that you deserve. You are indeed a superstar. And that is why I called you out today, because you are the superstar. And Jerry Lawler is supposedly the king, okay? And you hate Lawler as much as Austin and, and Tommy and myself do. You see, the thing is, Bill, and you, I may call you Bill, I hope. The thing is that every time after the match that Austin and Tommy and I are sitting in the dressing room, we all say, we say, you know, we don't want to mess with Bill Dundee. Not only is he a tough son of a gun, but we seem to like you for some reason, Bill. Tommy and you were tag team partners for years. You see, we like you, and Lawler doesn't. Lawler hates you as much as you hate Lawler, okay? And I know that with the right incentive, you could come over here and join me, Tommy, and Austin. So I tell you what, business proposition here, okay? A here it comes. Proposition. Man, you know what this is? Unlimited credit. I tell you what you can do. If you you just cross on over, join me, Tommy and Austin. Okay? Join us. All you gotta do, take this, go wherever you wanna go. Go to the shopping stores, go buy yourself a car. Unlimited credit. It's yours, Bill. It's yours. For 30 days, you can do whatever you want. It's all yours. You can hurry up, Tommy. No, no, I don't want to. So you're telling me for a month I can take this, spend it any way I like. Buy, buy a car, buy a house, buy anything you want. Good. Bill? Uh-oh. I, I, I respect that, too. I respect that. I know you don't want to be touched. I'm your manager now. Welcome. What? What do you mean I'm not? I don't need you as a manager or anybody else. And how I feel about law is my business, but we're one hell of a tag team, Jack. And that's all you need. I ain't giving you nothing. But he give me this credit card. Take it, dude. Austin? He said, take it, use it for a month, any way you want to. Ribbon. You give me the card. There's a million people watching this, and you give me this credit card, and I am keeping the credit card, and I am going to use it for a month. I ain't going to work for you or nobody else. I gave Austin a credit card. Oh, the key! Oh, I, 
I think we're getting a little interest on the credit card, Dave. Oh, hey, hey, come on, fellas. It's a family show, please. Paul Dangerly. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Paul not only lost his credit card, he lost when he carries the credit card in. His pants. Oh, give it back my pants. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, don't get around me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah, we ended up with one solitary shoe left. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm telling you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I <laughs> loved it, huh? There are just times when you got to sit out and <laughs> a smart businessman, hands credit card. Yeah, huh? yeah. Bill says, hey, you just gave me the credit card for 30 <laughs> yeah, days. I heard him. <laughs> here comes Chick out of a jack card, Davey. And they are here without Paulie Dangerly. Across the way, it is the superstar from Australia, Bill Dundee. And from Memphis, Tennessee, the King, Jerry Luller. We've got a one-fall 15-minute time limit match right here, right now. Stretcher Jack Hart to Golden Boy, uh, Chick Donovan, who is the international heavyweight champion. Peeling it off, and it'll be the stretcher and superstar Bill Dundee starting out. Couple of very, very rugged and experienced tag teams here. Stretcher Jack Hart. Whoa, found himself flying through the air as the superstar reversed him. Bill Dundee to the corner. Tag on his partner, the King, Jerry Lawler. Right hand, crowd says use it. He does. Now, uh, Paulie Dangerly with a towel wrapped around him over here. Uh, this is just what I was talking about. This is why this place sucks like Oh, Dangerly, hey, what you see right there. Picked up his one remaining shoe as he got stripped of his pants by Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee after he'd given Dundee. I'm going to tell you something. I'm only going to tell you what. I am going to leave here now. I'm going to call Austin and Tommy. And when they hear about this, these two guys are dead. I swore I'd have Lawler's hair, and I got it. Now he's a dead man. He is playing a game that nobody's ever played before. I have never been humiliated like that. I am going to have his head. Kill this guy, and Dundee, you mess with me, and you mess with the wrong guy. You want to live dangerously, you're going to pay the price. Would you say he's mad? Just a bit upset, yes. Yes. Wow, that's Paul Dangerously. He's not going to do anything. He may end up getting idle and rich to, uh, to take up his cause, but I'm not sure of that. Superstar with a tag going to Jack Hart. It's Billy in there against the stretcher. Boy, Billy really popping him. Look at that oh, stretcher, Jack. Not having any luck at all against Dundee there. He takes a wild haymaker swing from about six feet away. Dundee says, uh-uh, you missed me. Is that what he said? I'm not sure that's all he said. Well, <laughs> That's Paul Dangerly, who is screaming up there to Hart and Donovan. Look at Hart. <laughs> what? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> watching from the corner, just say, hey, just watch him go by. Hart stops, and Lawler and Dundee wave as if to say, you're doing good. Just keep on going. We're enjoying this. Made Hart look bad. Didn't make Dangerly look so bad. <laughs> Oh, boy, I can't get over it. He's out here with a towel wrapped around him. He, he, he has no pants anymore. Uh-oh. Uh Hart rakes Billy right across something, the aisle. I'm going to tell you this, man. The reason that nobody's ever to run Lawler out of here is because all these managers in the past have been either whoops or weasels or fat old retired wrestlers who have nothing better to do than give bad advice. Jimmy Hart could never run Lawler out of here. Lawler ran him out. Cornette could not run Lawler out of here. 
there. All around him out. J.D. Costello, all around him out. Nobody's been mad enough to do it. You see, I'm no wimp. And I'm no Lisa, and I'm certainly not a fat old retired wrestler who has nothing better to do than give bad advice. I'm dangerous, and I'm going to see this man destroyed. Well, it should give you a clue. He got it. He beat it. Chick Donovan, while Danger Lee was over here running his mouth off, Chick gets pinned, and the victory will be going to one of the great tag teams that were ever around. They are back together for this day, Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee. Three minutes, 33 seconds. Lawler and Dundee looking mighty good against rugged, rugged competition. Dundee gets the sunset, holds Golden Boy Chick Donovan down for the three count, and Lawler and Dundee do get the three minute, 33 second victory. Oh, uh, yeah. I think maybe Danger Lee doesn't know what he's messing with, and he All messes right. with these two guys. We'll take time out. We'll be back in just a moment. be back in the ring here in just a moment. Son of a gun, I like that Wednesday night action in there. You know that final event is going to be a Mid-America title match with Jeff Jarrett's hair at stake when Moondog Spot goes against Jeff. It'll be Jeff's first great hair trial. And another match that's going to be interesting Ooh. to see is going to be a six-man tag when Billy Travis, Mark Starr, and Big Bubba will be going against Paul Diamond, Pat Tanaka, and Downtown Bruno. Billy? Well, Lance, we've already talked about it. Mark Starr is going to take care of Pat Tanaka. Billy Travis is going to take care of Paul Diamond. All right. And we're going to save downtown Bruno for Big oh. Bubba. Now, guys, you better be ready in Evansville because this is going to be your last time because we're going to tear you up. I am looking forward to seeing that kind of action. And another championship match that's going to be in there. Bill Dundee. Well, it didn't take him long to get back into the big-time title picture. International heavyweight champion defending against Stretcher Jack Hart. I never ever thought I would have it. Lance had just wouldn't put no belts on the line. Huh, but then right. the golden boy, Chick Donovan, I guess, he figured he was going to make a reputation by defending this against the superstar in the superstar's hometown in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, you did that wrong, boy, because ain't nobody going to Nashville and embarrass me, and you didn't do it. So now, little Paulie Davis, he's running around there. He says, what happened to my credit card? Ah, I spent money on it, boy. Now, you ain't got enough money on that credit card to buy this back, so you gotta go, and you gotta sign Stretcher Jack Hart to come and wrestle the superstar in Evansville, Indiana. Well, that's just like a second home to me, Daddy. It's 140 miles from Nashville, and I'm gonna get my little Bronco, too, and I'm gonna drive down there, brother, and I'm gonna have this belt in the front seat when I get there, and I'm gonna have it around my waist when I walk to the ring, and I'm gonna have it around my waist when I walk back from the ring, and that means Stretcher Jack Hart, you're gonna get a whooping, boy, and you're gonna get a whooping off the superstar. And that's a promise from me to you. And I just want to wish Jeff Jarrett all the more luck in the world. Because that spot the moon dog's been a law around a long time, Jeff. And your hair's a big thing to you. Mm. I know it is, brother. The pressure's on you, Jeff. So just wait till he makes a mistake. And you can win, boy. Here's a quick little recap scenes of the Big Bubba situation. Next time you're in that ring, I want you to be mean. I want you to be nasty. I want you to be rotten. I want you to get in that ring, and I want you and I want you to show me something. I want you to show me why I brought you to Don's Eye Connection, or that's it. Bruno, That'll be the end of you two. Privately and stuff. Why should I? I'm not trying to do this privately. I'm trying to humiliate these two guys. Oh. I'm trying to show them that they're going to be with Don Tom Bruno and Paul Diamond and Pat the Narca and Moondog Spot. <laughs> that these two guys better be winners like the rest of us. You understand that? You two guys got to be winners of your fire. Because I will fire you. I'll fire you and I'll fire you. Look, they're getting bad. Look at that big, mighty leg across the throat. This team is getting fired up again. They're getting high. Disqualification, though, has occurred, and Bruno and his downtown connection. Oh, look at this, Bubba. Bubba sees to Bruno. Bubba says, we had it won. What are you doing? We were in control. Oh, I got to I gotta take their yeah, side he's right. this because they did have it. When out comes Tanaka and Diamond, they were trying to use the chair to get to Travis and Starr. But the, Big Bubba 
was telling downtown Bruno, your pride and joy comes out and causes us to lose on a disqualification. <laughs> oh, little storm. Rubble right in River the City. Well, we had the unveiling of Paul Dangerly today <laughs> on Championship Wrestling. We may not have that next week, but we will have lots of action coming up. For Dave Brown, this is Lance Russell saying thanks for being with us, and until we see you next week, bye-bye, everybody. The announcers on this program...